The Royal Bafuken Nation is regarded as one of the wealthiest traditional communities in Africa. The Bafuken Nation settled in this land in the north of Rustenburg from the end of 17th century. Their story is traced back to the foresight of Cosimo Katle, who ruled the nation from 1834 to 1891. Cosimo Katle, a visionary leader, sent out a contingent of men to Kimberley to work the diamond fields. The motive was to raise funds to buy the land now known as Puking. In 1921, platinum was discovered on the land. The journey which was always honored by the late Bafuken Queen Mother, Semani Mulutlehi. Those who worked closely with her are always reminded of the struggle encountered in purchasing this platinum rich land. <laughs> She says we went to Kimberley with her. She was the first person to take us there. We were going to lay wreaths in honor of our forefathers. Another trip we went to Beijing in 1995. We left Peking and we arrived in Hong Kong and we were shown where our diamonds from this land are refined. Hong Kong. Fast forward to the 21st century, Bafuken is far cry from a century ago. It is a transformed village, all due to mining royalties paid by mining houses operating on Bafuken land. They are the first traditional community to own a mining operation. The Royal Bafuken Sport Palace occupies the pride of place in their hearts. The community has invested on tourism services, including this flourishing shopping center amongst others. Memoholo, as the Queen Mother is affectionately known, played no small role in local developments. She looked after orphans, she educated the young and the adults alike, she provided health care, she provided better living conditions to the indigent. The best way to pay tribute to Memoholo is not to let her projects like Tuto Tewe and others die. These are but a few developmental projects which have put Bafuken on the world map as one of the richest communities on the continent. The Queen Mother was not only a part of Bafuken developments but played a leading role in their achievements. You could say all this is due to a Queen's gambit. Bafetilo Moirani, SABC News, Pukeng.